Hi guys, Scott from fans to page This is the second part of the how to create a fans to page contest page video. And we'll pick up from where we left off. So we put the prize information in. Now we want to put the deal information in. So <clears throat> we can grab some more elements um, for that. We'll come up here and we'll click on this. Grab another image. Choose the file. And we want this one here. Upload that. So this is where we're going to talk about what um, what what we're offering the people today. So say for instance, it's fifty percent discount. This just purely just to show you for um, aesthetic sake. Um, it doesn't have to be that. It can be whatever you want. So let's say for instance, um, we want to put some text. Oops, that's the We'll put some text here and maybe we say something like um, for the next four days only all Jack Organics products for Contest entrance are fifty percent off normal prices. Hurry though, only while stocks last. Okay. Let's drop that down onto another line. Okay, so we want to make that bigger, obviously. Um, so we've got 22. Maybe we, we want to highlight this part here. Maybe we'll get rid of that, Harry. Only while stocks last. So maybe we want to highlight that red. Make it a little bit more stand out. So we can highlight that and make it bold. Maybe we want to highlight this as red. Bold and make that italic so it stands out. Four days only. Okay, so that looks alright. So then we can insert that. And you see that sits in there quite nicely. And <clears throat> you know we might want to um, come and grab something from the clip art, clip art library up here, maybe to um, highlight as well. So you've got a whole bunch of things here. If you if you go through them, you'll see that there's arrows, there's check marks, there's buttons. There's icons. There's a divider, so a page divider, which work well. Download buttons, markers. So there's lots of you know um, circles, um, purchase buttons, order buttons, everything. So there's a, a whole bunch of stuff there that you can use. Shadows, ribbons. Smiley faces, <laughs> subscribe buttons, stars, discount for a sale. So you can see that there, there's there's bun there's a bunch of stuff that you can that you can use um, on your page to uh, to just make it um, a little bit to stand out. So maybe okay, let's say we'll grab this one. We'll add the click clip art and we'll just move that in there like that move that around move that up there okay 
So <clears throat> now we want to put in some of our products. So if we come up here and we click on this, we'll go and grab them. Choose the file. Got some products here. Now what we want to do is here is we put a link to the sales page or to the um, um, opt-in page, whatever it happens to be, depending on what we're promoting. But we could we can drop uh, a link in there to to the sales website or to the um, or to the uh, e-commerce site. Um, whatever it happens to be and the important thing to remember is you must change this from um, same window to new window so we'll change that to new window otherwise it will load whatever you are linking to inside of Facebook and we don't want that to happen so I'll upload that now okay now that's the wrong image I've grabbed I've grabbed the wrong image I didn't want to grab this one so what we can do to get rid of that <coughs> we right hand click on the mouse come up here and um, it says we can either update the image or we could even clone it if we wanted to um, or delete so we'll just go delete and that gets rid of that and then we come back here try again choose the file and we'll try this one new window upload now <coughs> Okay, that's better. So we bring these down here and we position them underneath there. Okay, and then we come back up here, grab some more. New window, upload now. Bring them down here below. Okay, and say for instance we wanted to add some scarcity to um, add some scarcity to the to the offer. We could go and say grab a um, countdown timer. Okay, so got one here. We'll grab that. <coughs> Come back to the page, and this would be added via HTML. So we drag that down here. Add the countdown timer. Insert. And now it gives us a little countdown timer. So we could add that down here, say for instance, with some text saying, as it says up here, only four days only while stock lasts. So we could add this here and it will tick down, <clears throat> giving the sense of urgency, just as an example. So that really covers um, all of all of the elements of the page. What we'll do now is we'll 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 save the page and then we'll go and have a look and um, and see <coughs> what we've got. Now, um, there's just a couple of la last minute things before we do that that we need to, um, to, that we need to do before we, we have a look. <clears throat> One of them is here, this custom terms and conditions. We need to add in the, whatever the rules, terms and conditions for your contest are. They will depend on where you're located in the world based on local laws. And, and you, so you need to make sure that you're compliant with that. The one thing that doesn't depend on where you are is this here. You must say that the promotion is no way sponsored, endorsed, or um, or um, promoted or administrated by Facebook in any way, shape, or form. So this is a bare minimum has to go in there just to remain compliant with Facebook. And then you want to add anything in there um, that is relevant to your local to your local market. Okay. And um, this last bit down here, <coughs> which is um, integrating with an autoresponder, you don't need to worry about that. That is mainly for if we're just if we're doing a um, a landing page, an opt-in page, which which there's another video about. Um, so no need to worry about that. We just come down here, we click Save Contest, and that will save it. Brings us back to here, and now what we can do is we can preview it. So we click on Preview. Okay, and there, there's the page. So this is what, without this part here, this is what people coming to check will see. They'll see this. Tells them to scroll down to see if they're the winner. They'll see that there's a 50% sale on these products. They can click them and, and it will take them off to the website page about the products. As you can see there. Um, and when they come down here, <coughs> it will tell them that there is, it, when on the day of a contest, it will show a picture 
of the winning person in here. Now, if that's them, there'll be a button here that says claim, and they will click that uh, to claim their prize, which will uh, enable them to contact you uh, to say, hey, I'm the winner, I'd like to claim my prize. If, and this will be the case most of the time, it is not them, it will show this increase your chance of winning until your friends button here. Now, what this does is it enables them to, if they click this button, it will enable them to, um, it improves their odds of winning next time. An algorithm works out, uh, a, 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 an algorithm uh, weights slightly in their favour, the chance for them to win next time, higher than they have this time. So what we find is, it was around 90% of people will click that button because they are happy to increase their chances of winning for next time. They want to do that. And it will also tell them the date of the when the next contest is. Um, and this button here, remind me to check if I've won, that enables us to send them out, uh, enables us to send them out the Facebook notification, reminding them that there is a, that there is a contest. So that covers the page. Um, if we go back to the main part of the admin, you can see if we come down here, it says set up winners, winner cycle. Now this is covered in one of the other videos, but this is really pertinent to what we're doing here. It says pick a winner every one day. Now, <clears throat> so you can change this from one to 30, 30 days. How often you want this to run. Um, we cover in, in, in another video about tactics on how to make this work. We cover a little bit more about this. But generally, um, if you, we find twice a week, so maybe you know once every um, five days um, or four days, say, if you run it every four days, works really well. But we'll cover that in, in another video that will be about the, the tactics of, of exactly how you use this contest to get the maximum results. But I just wanted to um, to show you that quickly there. The other thing, just quickly, is uh, this smart URL here. Now, this is the these URLs here. Either one, they make no difference. One is just branded fans to page. The other one is branded winner is dot me, which is a little bit more generic, as some people don't want to use the a, 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 a URL that's associated with um, with the app's name, which is fine. But um, so you can use this one here, which is more generic for a uh, competition. This is the link that you must always promote at all times. Now, the reason why you must use this link here is because um, Facebook uh, do not Facebook uh, apps don't show up on mobile devices. So to circumnavigate that problem, we use this link here, which means if somebody is on a mobile device and they come to the contest, we actually show them. Um, the page, we show them this page that we created before, this one here, we show them that on a, on a, on a server that is mobile compatible. So that link that we just showed you before, that smart URL, that is able to tell what device people are on and it will, um, if, if they're on a mobile, it will direct them to the mobile page. If they're on a um, desktop, it will direct them to the Facebook page and they'll be able to see it. They see the same thing. It's just one's, one works for mobile, one works for desktop computers. So it's imperative that you use these links here um, to promote whatever, however you're doing it on your fan page, in Facebook ads, whatever. You must use these links. Now, you can put a short URL in front of them if you want. Like if you use Bitly or if you use something like... Um, um, a pretty links or whatever, you can definitely um, mask the link with, with something else, but it just needs to go through there. Um, it needs to go through there first. So that's how we set up an actual contest page, and um, we'll see you in the next video.